So I got this question from a patient. And the question was, Doctor, can my stomach ulcer ever heal? Well, I kind of understand why the patient was asking this question because clearly the symptoms have persisted. Well, yes, to answer her question, stomach ulcers can heal. But the healing process of a stomach ulcer is dependent on several factors like the cause of the ulcer, how it was treated, and how well medical advice was strictly adhered to. So with the right treatments such as antibiotics for infection and then also medications to reduce the amount of acid that is being produced by the stomach, of course, ulcers will typically heal within some few weeks to a couple of months. So if you're struggling with stomach ulcers that just won't heal, you are not alone. If you find yourself in a frustrating cycle of abdominal discomfort, see, the problem may lie in certain factors that you may not be aware of. And so today, we are talking about eight reasons why your stomach ulcers may not be healing. But before we do that, kindly hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and kindly turn on your post notification bell so that you'll be alerted whenever we upload any new video. Number one. Now see, stomach ulcers are caused by a bacteria called Helicobacter pylori bacteria or H. pylori for short. Now this bacteria is able to find its way into the stomach, creates a hole. Now the acid that is being produced by the stomach follows through, moves along and then causes an ulcer. This bacteria is very common and also very difficult to get rid of simply because it can reoccur, especially in places where they are poor sanitation. And sometimes it can even become resistant to medication. And so if your stomach ulcers are not healing, then you need to check what you are eating or where you are buying food from because it can be spread through dirty food, dirty water, and then also poor hygiene. Reason number two, continuous use of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs for short, medications such as roofing, diclofenac. Now these medications are used to treat inflammation, to treat fever, to treat pain. And so your doctor might prescribe this medication to help with that. Now, you need to understand that these medications can aggravate your ulcer. These medications can make the ulcer worse. And so if you have a stomach ulcer and you take these medications, obviously, it's not going to heal. Now, when you go to the hospital with such conditions like pain, you need to let the doctor know that you have an ulcer so that he can probably prescribe other medications to deal with the pain. Reason number three, smoking. Now, if you have stomach ulcer and you've been smoking, you need to know that the ulcer is not going to heal. See, what smoking does is that it stops blood flow to the lining of the stomach and therefore can slow down or completely prevent the healing process from happening. And so, if you smoke and you have stomach ulcer, you need to make some lifestyle changes. You need to stop smoking. Get out of that chimney gang because there's no exhaust at the back of your head. Number four, excessive alcohol intake. See, if you have stomach ulcers and you take a lot of alcohol, you need to reconsider. Because what alcohol does is that it inflames the line of your stomach and causes inflammation of your stomach. And this is what we call gastritis. Gastritis can predispose you to stomach ulcers. And so if you take a lot of alcohol like vodka, whiskey, you need to avoid them. If you have ulcer, simply avoid them. Personally, no amount is safe, whether in reduced quantity or higher quantity. Just avoid alcohol if you have stomach ulcers. Number five, stress. Now, it's quite obvious that we cannot do away with stress. Stress is part of life. However, chronic stress can impact your body's ability to heal any form of ulcer that you have. Stress has the ability to increase the acid production in your stomach. And so, if you are chronically stressed, of course, if you have stomach ulcers, it's going to take a long time for it to heal. And so as much as you can, try and get enough rest as much as you can. Number six, inadequate treatment. Now, you went to the hospital with complaints of epigastric pain. A history was taken, you were examined, investigations done, and a confirmation of a stomach ulcer was made. You were asked to take medications for 14 days and you stopped on day seven simply because your abdominal pain resolved. Now, if you do that, you are going to cause what we call resistance so that the next time you take the medication, it's very difficult for it to work. 
See, if you take these medications and you're having side effects, don't just stop. Carry these medications to your doctor. Let your doctor know that these are the side effects you're having so that he can prescribe other medications to deal with the side effects. If you don't complete the course of your medication, your ulcer is not going to heal. You need to strictly adhere to the 14-day treatment or whatever regimen that your doctor has prescribed for you. Number seven, dietary factors. Now see, there are some people who cannot just do away with for spicy food and pepper. You need to understand that once you have stomach ulcer, these things can aggravate your ulcer. Also drinks like soda, drinks like coffee, you need to avoid them or take them in reduced quantity. See, you need to treat stomach ulcers with, with much uh, urgency. I imagine a sore on the surface of your skin. I mean, anything that will cause pain to it, anything that will, will trigger it or prevent it from healing, you just need to avoid them. So avoid spicy foods, pepper, soda, coffee. Just avoid them or else your ulcers are not going to heal. Number eight, medical conditions. Now, there's a very rare condition called Zollinger Ellison syndrome. Now, this condition is simply a tumor in the stomach that produces a hormone called gastrin. And this gastrin tends to produce a lot of acid in your stomach. And so if you have high levels of acid, it can cause a lot of problems like stomach ulcers. So if despite all the treatments that you've taken, despite all the medication that your doctors have prescribed for you, if your ulcer is still not healing, then we need to look into your stomach. It might probably be the reason why your ulcer is not healing because this tumor can aggravate your ulcer, prevent already existing ulcers from healing. Now, the other conditions that can also prevent your ulcers from healing, conditions like malnutrition, anemia, diabetes, some cardiovascular diseases, because these conditions prevent or slows down the blood flow to your stomach lining. And so these conditions can, can prevent the healing process or slow down the healing process of your stomach ulcers. And so these are the eight reasons why your stomach ulcers may not be healing. And so if you've learned anything from today's video, kindly hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and then turn on your post notification bell. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.